Hi everyone, and welcome to this very special concert of the Davis Arts Council Quarantine Chamber Series. I want to thank everybody at the Davis Arts Council for having the vision and the wherewithal to still present this concert under these trying circumstances. Many of my colleagues are doing this sort of thing online, uh, live or semi-live concerts. And I think it's a wonderful example of how human beings will find ways to connect to each other through art and really how essential art is to all of us. But I know we all look forward to the time when we can go back to attending and performing live concerts together in the same room safely, as they say, in real life. So I had a very different program in mind for you, but when I found out that this would be the format and under these circumstances, I decided on a much more personal and introspective concert as I wanted to acknowledge the difficult times that we face today. So we'll start with Bach and the Adagio from the G minor sonata for solo violin. Bach wrote the sonatas and partitas and the suites for solo cello together, seemingly, I think, in response to the death of his first wife, Maria Barbara. Bach had to leave his home for several months to be with his employer, Prince Leopold. Uh, and when he left, Maria was actually in perfect health. But when he returned, only a couple of months later, he discovered that she had fallen gravely ill and had died and had been actually been buried already for several weeks by the time he had returned. Many of us feel that this first movement of the entire set of sonatas and partitas represents Bach's acknowledgement of his grief.
Hi again. So we'll stick with Bach for the moment and go to the prelude for his E major partita. This is a part of the same set of works as the previous piece, but is a much more lighthearted perpetual motion for the violin. And whenever Bach did a set of anything, he made sure that all musical styles of the day were represented. And this third partita diverges from the other two as it includes a set of French dances rather than the German dances that the other partitas employ.
This next work was written by myself, and while it is certainly not the compositional genius of the other pieces on the program, it is like the previous two pieces, as it was written for a special person in my life, and but in this case for a happy occasion. It's called Devotion. Enjoy.
This last work on the program will be the Passacaglia by Heinrich Ignaz Franz Bieber, and it was the signature technical and musical work for violin until, yes, you guessed it, Bach wrote the famous Chacon from that set of sonatas and partitas that we've been talking about. The two pieces are directly related in several ways, as Bieber wrote the Passacaglia as a kind of add-on to a set of 15 works called the Rosary, or the Mystery Sonatas. And the Chacon is also an extra movement to a set of German dances in the D minor partita, number two. Bieber wrote the 15 rosary sonatas based on the beads of the rosary, hence the name, and the Passagalia uh, represented the feast of the guardian angel. Bach almost certainly knew about this piece and like everything else he did, clearly wanted to emulate and expand on it. I like to think that Bach was also thinking of his departed wife in the same way as a kind of guardian angel when he wrote the Chacon. This Passacaglia, however, is an amazing work for the violin all its own.
So, thanks for listening. I sincerely hope this concert was able to bring you a little peace in these difficult times. And thanks again to the Davis Arts Council for giving me this opportunity to perform. Ah, it was such a pleasure. Have a great weekend, stay safe, help others be safe, and let's look forward to the whole world being together again. Thanks again.